Hello and welcome to ProVision ISR's webinar. Today we are going to talk about face, face detection, face recognition, uh, the difference between the two. Uh, we're going to talk about, actually we are going to see how to configure the, the different cameras uh, in order for them to uh, recognize people like we can see here on the right. So all you have to do is to sit back, relax and uh, enjoy the ride. Let's start. So just a quick explanation about the difference between face detect and face recognition. Face detect, detect takes place on the camera itself. It detects a face. It has a built-in algorithm that can tell that there is a face over there. The camera send those face into the NVR and the NVR does the recognition part. Basically the uh, camera detects and the NVR recognizes. The, just as we can see here that the NVR uh, was managed to uh, recognize Ellie here and Tony and Evgeny. Now, let's see some of the abilities that we can use from this screen alone. So, as you can see, I am on the main interface, and here to the right, I see uh, a list of faces that has been uh, or detected or recognized. So, if we will go into history, we will see a longer period of time of all of the faces that has been uh, detected. So, let's see our options. First of all, we can press register. When I press register, I can teach the NVR exactly who that person is. So we can give it a name, for example, and we choose whether it is a male or a female, I give it a birthday, uh, birthplace, ID type, ID number, mobile phone number, what number, a serial number it will have, and associate it with a group. Now we are going to talk about group uh, in a few minutes, so let's see what the other uh, buttons do. We can press the search button. I'm going to do that in a second. This now, this button is the playback. So here we can see exactly the moment when this face has been uh, detected. So let's give it a few more seconds and see. Okay. There we go. Next button that we have is the three dots. The three dots will open a small window which will allow me to scroll back and forth between the different face detections uh, not necessarily of the same person as you can see. Okay. Now let's do the search. So one press on the search button brought us to this screen. Here we can see uh, to the left the photo that we have chosen and to the right we can see all of the results from the different cameras. So we can see results from main passage camera, we can see results from a front door face camera here. Of course that when we press a photo we can see the video playing on the left side. Um, now this is a small portion, this is just a cutout of the face but uh, if we want to see the entire uh, frame then all we have to do is to press here the scene button then we can see if something has changed, if something has stolen or broken or something has happened. Um, of course we can search for yesterday or we can search from the entire week, not a problem. Actually the search is going on pretty fast, Let, take, take a look at it. Um, now another cool thing that we can do is uh, we have the ability basically to track a person's route. What exactly are we talking about? Let's go into the track feature right here. Now, as you can see, uh, we can upload a map that represents the place that we are in. If it is a university campus or a gas station or a police station. So we can upload uh, like a blueprint like here and we can scatter the cameras around. As we can see here, we have the sales desk camera, we have the front door desk camera. Now, each camera that is painted red, the um, the wording is uh, painted red, it means that it has records of the person that we have searched for. So one click on the on the camera, we can see the record from exactly that camera and we can see the time and the video playing back. Now if you think that cool, just for, wait for this one. If you press followed window, you will get the window to play next to the camera that has captured the, this record. So, wait for a second, okay, now the, the window is jumped to the main passage camera because the main passage has captured this person. Now, 
the next uh, capture is also from the main passage but you get the idea whenever someone whenever a different camera captured this, those face the video will jump into that camera so we can see intuitively what was the location of this person now another cool option that we have is the ability to see visually this person routes from the first time he got captured which was near the front door camera and to see the entire uh, route he did for the entire day so this can be extra efficient if we are searching for a, a person in a large place or in an entire city or something then you can see the entire route that he has done if you want to catch someone to, or to know where, where someone has been to uh, a quick word about how to create it all you have to do is to press edit a map and over here very quickly we can load a map from the USB or do uh, all of the adjustments we want with the required cameras now another thing that we can do is um, let's go back to picture we can search uh, we just search for one person but uh, what happens if you want to search for several persons so all you have to do is to go into the snapshot gallery in this case of course we're going to go through those things uh, very uh, in details in a, in a few moments so we can search for one two three up to five different faces and we can search for them now not only that we're going to talk in a minute about the database we can also search for an entire database okay so if we se select select group group is database basically it's the same thing then we can search for an entire group so if, if we have if we're looking for one of, of our employees or one of our uh, I don't know VIP clients uh, that has passed near our store or something then we can search for the entire group and see immediate results from today or yesterday or the entire week as we said before of course that for every one of the scenes that we have here we can select the ones that we want to backup and then we can back them up of course only by pressing backup choosing our uh, USB source and choosing whether it is in a private or AVI of course that if it's in private we can uh, give it a password by giving it a password we are actually complying with the requirements of the GDPR if you've heard of uh, global data protection regulations and then uh, no one but us will be able to open those uh, those files course for snap also we can choose and then we can back it up straight from here super easy now since we have a recognition system we thought about why not implement it into a face attendancy system so this system doesn't have to be set up at all all we have to do is to go into it search uh, the required cameras and uh, select the required groups and of course you can see we can leave them all on select the results we want we want a monthly results the working hours Sunday till Thursday and 8 to 5 so one press on the search button gives us a list of all of the persons inside of these groups so let's see an example for this person we can see the first time it got captured and the last time in the first of March we can see the same for the third of March the fourth etc etc now uh, of course that we can export it so after we export it into our USB file we will have a CSV file which can be opened in Excel and uh, we can already send it to our uh, human resource department for example now before we move into settings I want to show you a new way on how to search uh, for example uh, uh, for a face without even using a uh, face detection camera so let's see so I went into the playback a little bit and we have here a good example we see this camera by the way we can do that even in a live preview all we have to do is to take a snapshot of a camera surround this face and click search by face now immediately when I do that I can access exactly the same uh, screen I, have, I was in uh, before and you can just keep on working on just searching for a, for a face in a camera now straight from here let's go into settings and see how we do all of those things so all I have to do is to go into menu settings event and analytics here in this menu 
we can see that we are under face recognition. Uh, we can see four different menus, detection, database, recognition, and trigger. So we're going to go through one by one and explain. First, detection. Here under detection, we can see a list of cameras to the right. And each and one of uh, these cameras uh, is capable of uh, giving us face detect. If we have another cameras on the NVR, which don't support this feature, then it won't show here. Of course, that we can select the part of the screen where we want the face recognition to take place. Um, so normally we would like to choose uh, the entire screen. Here we can see the duration. Now, if the same person is looking into the camera, then we wouldn't like the camera to capture the same face over and over again. So we have this gap. So only after 20 seconds is passing, uh, the camera will detect the same face again. Save image to SD. If we have an SD connected to the camera, then the entire frame uh, from the point the face has been uh, detected, it will be saved into the camera. And save object, it means that the camera will save only the face, only the face into the SD card. Area. In the area part, we can see we can set the maximum and the minimum size uh, of face to be detected. So if you press play, we can see it uh, visually. You can see here that we can, of course, adjust the, the settings. Now, the next thing that we're going to see, let me just uncheck box these things. Next thing is the trigger. You see here, we have the trigger. Now, this trigger uh, mainly talks about it refers to the detection from the camera that we have chosen, sales desk. Now we can choose different triggers for different colors, of course. So basically it means that when a face gets detected in this camera, we can perform X, Y, Z. So let's see what can we perform. First, we can control the number of cameras to record. So all we have to do is to choose the number of cameras we want to record press this button and press OK. And the minute we do that, whenever a face gets detected, all of the cameras that we chose will start to record. Relay out or alarm out. Basically, whenever a face gets detected from the, the camera that we have chosen, then we can control the trigger that will be activated from those uh, cameras. It can be either cameras or the built-in uh, uh, relays in the NVR itself. So same principle, you just press it and then you can activate it. It's especially good if you want to, to activate an alarm or open a door or a siren or something whenever a face gets detected. Okay, trigger preset. If we have a PTZ camera, all we have to do is to set uh, a presets on the, this uh, camera and then we choose the required preset. So whenever a face gets detected in this camera, again, um, the PTZ will move to the right direction. We have here a couple of more options. Snapshot, meaning that uh, a snapshot will be taken and saved into the HDD of the NVR. Push message, which is uh, marked by default. It will send a push into the to our application, to our phone. A buzzer. If you press the buzzer, then the NVR will start to beep whenever a face gets detected. Video pop-up. On the local screen of the NVR, we will have a, a pop video of the same camera, sales desk. And final option is the email. Once a face gets detected, we will get an email. How do we, um, how do we set the email? Right about there in the event notification. All we have to do, this is where we basically set the, uh, all kinds of uh, notifications, whether it is email or push message, push message or lights or audio or everything. So basically those are the triggers that are available. Of course, if you want to make it look nicer, we can collapse all of the settings and then open them one by one. The next thing is the database. The idea behind the database is to create different groups of people and giving them different permissions. So the basic example will be employees and managers that we want to allow the employees enter their workplace, uh, but we want to deny them access to the manager's office. And we have the manager's group that we want to allow both. 
entering the workplace and entering their manager's office. How do we create a group? We just press add a group, give it a name and then we will have it right here. So first thing we need to do is to add a face. So we have two main ways to add a face. First will be this, the snapshot gallery. All we have to do is to uh, select the required camera. We can select all of them, no problem. We can select from when, day, week or a month. And now all of those cameras are connected to our NVR and they detect faces. So we can see all of the faces that they have detected from today, of course. And uh, then we can add the face. Now the other way to add a face is by using a USB, a USB stick. So the, this is a very powerful uh, tool actually because it allows us to take faces from uh, let's say uh, a wanted list of some kind and uh, we can load this wanted list into our system and then we can activate a siren once uh, a hostile person has been uh, identified or you know close the door for him, send an email, all, all sort of things. So moving back into the snapshot gallery and then we can just select a face and select this face for instance we have here the information we need to enter so we have a name, a gender, birthday, birthplace, ID type, ID number, mobile phone and a serial number. Of course here we can associate them with uh, a different group but let's put them in the employees group. Edit successfully, close, now we have a person inside the employee group. Now another way, we have another group that we have here is the managers group. So really quick, let's do that again. We select a face from the period of a day or maybe a week or a month. Um, of course, USB, the wanted list we've, we've talked about. Now I won't go through all of the information all over again because we just uh, said that. But let me just add two important things. First is that we can create 10 different groups and for each group we can uh, add 1000 different records 1000 different uh, faces of course now the only way to access those records is by uh, knowing the nvr's password and of course entering it the only way that we can have to transfer a group from one device to another is by import and export now now why would we want to do that a lot of reasons, for example, if we want to, uh, to be able to allow our managers and employees to enter our offices in the other city, in our other branch in another city, or maybe, maybe we want to show a greeting message for our VIP clients, or maybe we want to shut the door for the, the FBI wanted list, a lot of, um, a lot of good reasons. So. For conclusion, the database is uh, the heart of the recognition system, which we are going to talk about next. Uh, this is where we can create and edit and delete the groups and uh, basi basically manage the entire database of our recognition system. The next thing will be the recognition. Now, in the recognition, we set the link between the camera and the group. So. We said, remember, we said that we want the employees to be able to enter their workplace, uh, but not the manager's office. And the managers we want to allow to we want to allow them to enter uh, both of the places. So first of all, let's go to the camera that uh, that uh, captures the front door. So this is the front door face camera, and we want to allow it. Uh, first, we want to enable recognition. It's already enabled, and now we have the employee group. So, we don't mind that the similarity rate for employees will be 75% as well as the managers because that um, if, uh, if an employee is walking fast or a manager is walking fast, then the camera won't recognize it for 100%. It might recognize them for 80 or 90%. So, it's okay because it's just the, the front door. We don't mind to get it open in a minimum of 75% of similarity. But when we're talking about the manager's office door and uh, this is the back counting camera this is our example uh, first of all we will activate of course the recognition and for the manager's group which do we see this is uh, this is going to be the only group that will be able to open that door we will set a similarity rate 
of 100%. So that if there is um, an identification of under 100%, if we, even if it is a 99, the door won't open. So that allows that is, that allows us maximum security, and it prevents the door from being opened uh, uh, just by uh, by mistake. So what do we do from here? Next, we need to go into trigger. This is actually where uh, the magic truly happens. This is where we set what happens when a camera detects someone from uh, a group of some kind. So all we have to do is to add a new rule, okay, a new trigger. Then we would like to select the camera that uh, that captures the front door. Remember, we want to allow the employees to enter their workplace. So let's choose the front door camera. Then we set it to enable, identify persons, and then we edit the schedule. Do we work seven days a week? Do we want the camera to open that door um, all the time? Or do we want to select a different schedule, which by the way, we can create our own right here in edit schedules. So we are working for five days a week. Group we have to, cho to choose the right group, the employee group. This is where the link actually happens. When the front door recognizes someone from employee group, which we remember has a similarity of 75%, then we will activate what we want. So we have a couple of options here. Now, if we'll check enable alarm output pulse, that will open the door. If we have a door that connected to that camera, we can prompt a text so whenever someone from that group gets identified by the camera then we will have a text welcome to our offices for example we can have a push notification to be sent into our phones we can make the nvr beep we can uh, activate a video pop-up if we have a screen connected to the nvr uh, of course the video will belong into that same camera we can have an email sent so this, this can be good in case that someone hostile from the wanted list that we mentioned before uh, has showed up, then we will get an email. Message box pop up, meaning that a message will pop up into the NVR and uh, of course we will have to, dis to uh, press OK. So that was how we set the front door face to open the door for the workers, okay, the employees. Now we are going to add another rule for the managers. So, first of all, let's take the camera that is belong to the manager groups, which is back counting. Now, same as the uh, same as the other trigger that we made, uh, we will set it to enable to identified. Uh, in this case, a manager might come into their office even on Saturday or or Sunday. So we will choose 24-7, we will choose managers, now because we uh, determined that the similarity rate will be 100%, then this link will only exist, will only uh, actually happen when someone was identified for 100%. And the trigger, same as before, uh, we will choose for example the ena enable alarm output pulse, so the manager's office will open only when a manager has been identified by 100% apply and we are all set now let's show a quick example for exactly how uh, does that work so first of all I've entered the database in a few seconds and added myself into the employees group so now I want to determine that when the camera behind me detects me I want to say a small greetings so we will go into recognition. By the way, this is the camera that sits behind me. It's second floor. This is the name of it. First, we make sure that it is enabled, like we did before. And then we will add the required trigger, as we remember. So, we will select the required camera, second floor. We want everything to be on, enable, and recognition is on also. Schedule for always. What is the group? The group is employees. We want that whenever that camera recognizes someone from employees group, which I mean, then we will have a text. So I've skipped the time a little bit to not make you wait uh, 
while I am uh, typing have a good day then all we have to do is to press enter and OK now once I press apply here then the rule is activated so now let's go to the main screen take a look to the right right here where my mouse is and I will quickly go and let's see how it works as you seen I have on the right myself with a picture that has been taken on the left side by the camera and the picture that is saved on the employees group with the message that I've just written so all of that we have done strictly by going into settings analytics and triggers that was the face detection and recognition webinar as you've seen we are talking about a very powerful tool here and uh, that has a lot a lot of uh, different options starting from uh, uh, capturing people's faces to saving them into their groups giving them permissions opening the door for them closing the door for them uh, push messages sending messages email messages um, basically a lot of different options all of, and all of those in the very simple to use interface which is built by only four different sub menus so I uh, invite you to try it for yourself, see how easy it is to, uh, to set, and uh, hope to see you in the next webinars. I was David, thank you. Have a good day.